This is uh, from the British version of TASS. It's about the AIDS epidemic. And, of course, they're claiming that it came from some African city. It's easy to see why AIDS seems so mysterious and frightening when the U.S. medics first encountered it 35 years ago. Condition robbed young, healthy people of their strong immune system, leaving them weak and vulnerable and seemed to be come from out of nowhere. Now, we know where it came from. It came from certain behaviors. That is bullshit. Today we know much more about how and why the virus that leads to HIV, the virus that leads to AIDS, has become a global pandemic. Unsurprisingly, sex workers, meaning hookers, unwittingly played a part. No less important were the roles of trade, collapse of colonialism, 20th, 20th century, 20th century socio-political reform. That is incredible bullshit. In other words, they're blaming capitalism. That's all you need to see in this story. The story blames capitalism for AIDS. HIV did not appear on nowhere, of course. It probably began as a virus affecting monkeys and apes in West Central Africa. That is bullshit. Wrong. Uh, it started in San Francisco. I was alive during the 80s. I was in the military in the 80s, and I remember clearly this started in San Francisco. From there, it jumped species into humans on several occasions, perhaps because humans infe ate infected bush meat. Some people carry a version of HIV closely related to that seen in sooty mangabe monkeys, for example, but HIV came from monkeys that does not become a global problem. They're more closely related to apes like gorillas and chimpanzees than we are to monkeys. Even when the HIV is passed in the human populations from these apes, and it's not necessarily turned into a widespread health issue. Uh, HIV originating from apes typically belongs to a type of virus called HIV-1. One is called HIV-1 Group 0, and human cases are largely confined to West Africa. In fact, only one form of HIV is spread far and wide after jumping to humans. This version probably originated from chimpanzees. It's called HIV Group 1M for major. More than 90% of infections belong in Group M, which raises an obvi obvious question. What's so special about HIV Group M? This is more BS because we all know where it originated. It originated in San Francisco. The case has been closed on that for a long time. It's not especially infectious as you might expect. Instead, it seems this form of HIV simply took advantage of events. That is incredible bullshit. That's one smart virus. Economic rather than Evolutionary factors drove its rapid s spread, meaning capitalism. Free and his colleagues mean built a family tree of HIV by looking at a diverse array of HIV genomes collected from about 800 infected people from Central Africa. Genomes picked up on new mutations in this fairly steady rate, so by comparing two genome sequences and counting differences, they can work out where the last shared common ancestry, when two did. And of course, they claim that uh, 
we uh, evolved from some chimpanzee seven million years ago, which is more BS. RNA viruses such as HIV evolve approximately one million times faster than human DNA, says Freya. That means HIV molecular clock. T that is incredible bullshit. It's very fast indeed. Well, if that was the case, then uh, they should be, these viruses should be flying to the stars by now. They are evolving that fast. That's BS. Ticks so fast, Col Free and his colleagues found that HIV genomes all shared a common ancestor that existed more than 100 years ago. HIV group, HIV 1 group M pandemic probably first began in 1920s. Wrong. It started in the 1980s in San Francisco. That is bullshit. I was there. I remember it. I wasn't in San Francisco. I was in military at the time. At this point, researchers changed back. This is BS. They're saying it long started in some city in the Congo, which is, was the Belgian colony. Uh, in Kinshasa, which was then known as Leopoldville, just been made the capital. The city became a rapid, very attractive destination for young men seeking their for fortunes and for sex workers meaning hookers, only too willing to help them spread, spend their earnings. Virus spread quickly through the population. That is incredible bullshit. It didn't. That's BS. It did not remain confined to cities. The researchers discovered that the capital of Belgian Congo was in the 1920s one of the best connected cities in Africa, taking full, full advantage of the extensive rail network used by hundreds of thousands of people every day. It's virus spread to cities 900 miles away in just 20 years. Everything was in place for an explosion of infection rates in the 1960s. But here's the kicker right here. It arrived in the U.S. in the 1970s just as sexual liberation and homophobic attitudes were leading to concentrations of gay men in cosmopolitan cities like New York and San Francisco. Once more, HIV took advantage of the socio-political situation spread through the U.S. and Europe. That is incredible bullshit. That is one smart virus now, isn't it? It's so intelligent it knows how to do all of this. But basically they're blaming capitalism instead of blaming certain behaviors which cause this virus to uh, basically get going in humans. I'm going to lay it down the line. If we would, there was a plan that I heard in place. Uh, some congressman came up with it. He want, What he wanted to do was he wanted to quarantine San Francisco. That's how you uh, stop a disease. You quarantine the place Stop everybody going in and out until you get the infected individuals into hospitals or whatever. And keep them away from uninfected people. And that's how you stop the uh, disease. It's too late now. This is a behaviorally spread disease. It could have been stopped. It's too late. Well, this is 
just a bunch of BS. All they're doing is they're blaming capitalism instead of blaming behavior. Saying, yeah, we need to correct certain behaviors because they're destructive. Well, they're not going to do that. Now, there you have it. This is more uh, history revisionism. They like said uh, BBC News is essentially uh, British TASS. You don't know what I mean by TASS? That was the Soviet Union's uh, official news agency. They had Pravda and they had TASS. TASS was the official news agency. Pravda was supposed to be their uh, free newspaper, but of course it was run. It too was run by the government. This is utter BS. This is a mental disorder of liberalism. It's because of the mental disorder of liberalism that this disease is spread. Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.